Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And in today's video, we're doing our top five Christmas slash festive holiday scents. Now they're not the scents that I have going on here. I am doing some experimentation for another video. Um, I do have them here. We will reveal them. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go into layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we are covering next. Oh, what an interesting topic it is today. Festive, holidays, foodie gourmand scents and then we also have some go to your your gatherings and just smell delicious amazing and inviting not so much cozy gourmand sitting by the fireplace drinking hot cocoa uh, but let's head out so I really do feel like I have a nice mix of the two here to cater to um, y'all's liking so hopefully um, in today's video also we will be choosing the winner two winners will receive the mellow vanilla that I've been just going on about I knew it was gonna be amazing <laughs> I've been playing around with it I do have one of these 5 mls in my purse I also have a 10 ml somewhere I just spray it get get familiar with it enjoy it um, you know love up on it this is the Mason Mattel has escapade gourmand inspired by fragrance by the house of genre perfumes if you have not seen the mason mataha video or a couple of them that i've done on the channel i invite you to go do that um i'll list the full description the full not description in the description box i will list the full review so you'll know what we are talking about here we're going to pick our two winners i'm going to have a, a lovely assistant come in and assist us with that okay let's go ahead and start out with our top five i have honorable mentions it's just i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> they, i need i need all of these in my top five but five is such a small number <laughs> so we have italica and lita by the house of zerjoff these are to me baked goods this is lemon pound cake lemon cookie scent this is an almond beautiful um you know just it has some vanilla in here of course it's just wonderful this is also the whole bakery <laughs> i love italica and lita in you know for a foodie gourmand type feel so these are honorable mentions for certain if you have these i would definitely rock them for your festivities for your holidays oh yes those are great okay two more honorable mentions and actually because i would really like to layer the two this is from the house of be layered it is an inspired by fragrance house but they have original creations and this one here is called christmas in egypt it smells so good it reminds me of a couple of fragrances i already have in the collection and again i do have a full dedicated review to christmas in egypt this is um this goes the rouge l'interdit route or the l'interdit rouge um for certain it gives me that air that quality um but different so we still have a little bit of big goods in here but it's not full on gourmand so this is one that i wouldn't mind wearing to a festivity not just cozying up with it um, I would like to add a dash of Lene <laughs> by Be Layered. This is the uh, Nishani Anis um, inspired by fragrance by the house. Layer this on top of this. You have a little cinnamon. You have a wonderful, wonderful creamy uh, vanilla, almost leaning towards ice cream vibe here with this. A winning scent combination here for the holidays. Okay, so those were honorable mentions, you guys. Those were the bit of the top five. Let's get into the top five. Coming in at number five, we have Alien Fusion. This scent, I want to say, is just nostalgic for me uh, because I did buy it around the holidays. I did break it in this closet, shatter it, gone, completely gone, <laughs> before I had even finished paying it off. I had, I had gotten a really good deal, but I love to spread out my fragrance purchases. Um, so that I can keep track of them and this is one that I had one more payment left and the thing shattered but it was that good it was it had I had already so many memories tied to it that I just had to 
had to buy repurchase. So it, it made the list, of course, for Christmas. Oh, I have beautiful pictures with this fragrance as well. It's just festive, <laughs> the bottle even. So we have some ginger in here, some cinnamon, but they do not completely overtake the fragrance. A lot of reviews mentioned that this uh, reminds them of Armani's Rouge Malachite. And um, I've never smelled the original of that fragrance, so I wouldn't be able to confirm per se. Um, we have some orange blossom in here, some tuberose. When you spray it initially, you feel like it's almost a heavy jasmine leaning scent, just like the original fragrance, but there's no jasmine in here. I sprayed it right before the video, and it's already settling down into just this creamy, I call it creamy because I feel I feel like the amber uh, and the vanilla in here are just a little creamy. The ginger and the cinnamon add so much to this without adding the actual piercing spice, if that makes any sense. It makes it just lean a little a little festive, you know, a little um, like an offerings type scent really nice really really nice i did wear this last christmas so i won't be wearing it again <laughs> this christmas but it, it came in at number five because it is this it is really good soft um you know with just a hint of that lovely smooth spice so that's alien fusion um by the house of mugler and you can find it here and there on discount sites as well still to the day so yay love that scent it's a keeper it's one of the best alien flankers in my opinion um so coming in at number four we have Latafa Nebras. I can't, I just can't be quiet about this fragrance. I keep talking about how deliciously wonderful it is. I do have a full dedicated review to it. Uh, the only reason it piqued my interest was because um, I did, I did hear that it was similar to Billie Eilish's Eilish and Latafa, you know, and, and uh, Latafa Pride and, and Latafa and all that. Being so strong, I felt, oh, that's going to be stronger than Eilish. And for me, Eilish doesn't go the distance and it doesn't give me uh, an enjoyable scent bubble, unfortunately, even though I do enjoy the scent. So this one just comes in. Um, I do have this travel spray is how I started out with it because I didn't have full faith. I was like, oh, if it dries down the way that Eilish does on me, I'm not going to enjoy it fully. So why even go for the 100 ml? They only sell 100 ml bottles of this. And now I'm just like, do they have a 200 ml? Because <laughs> that's what I need now. Oh man. So you guys, I love this fragrance so much. And it is the holiday season. So I have purchased a couple of these. They are on the way. Um, and I want you guys to comment down below if you would like a Latafa Nebras pocket pack. They are 20 mls. Then you comment down below what is your favorite holiday scent i'm gonna be throwing these in here you guys um i appreciate you guys so much the people who tune in every single week um you know and comment and and keep the scent talk coming from this closet i do want to keep the giveaways going whenever i can share fragrances with you guys i want to do that for certain um so yeah <laughs> If you would like one of these, I do have a couple on the way, so I'll be choosing a winner. Go ahead and comment down below what is your um, favorite festive scent. I mean, I would like to know because I'm telling you mine. <laughs> okay, so uh, Latafa Nebras, I do have a full dedicated review to that, so I won't go in and break down all the notes and all that. Because let me tell you what I feel would make it a little more Christmassy. It is creamy coconut to me. Uh, it doesn't have any coconut in it, but it gives me a lovely creamy coconut ice cream vibe. Even the cool sensation. I would love to add some cinnamon vanilla to this. I just would. House of Intimacy by Nui Cobalt. We just went over Nui Cobalt designs and... Oh yes, this is one. So I would do this oil right along with the Nebras and give it the cinnamon vanilla touch and it would just be so Christmas, so Christmas dessert. Um, so that is my number four. That is why uh, I chose it. I felt we could really throw that in here. Now this is one that I would both wear cozy and out of the house. I would wear it both ways. So 
Uh, that is La Tafa Nebris coming in at number three. And then we will choose the winner for the Mellow Vanilla giveaway. <laughs> All right, so number three, you guys. <laughs> it, this has made so many lists in my head and everywhere. Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. This has got to be the surprise of the year for me. I mean, it surprised me so much. I ordered it half-heartedly. I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it might be weak. It might be this. It might be that. I had a little bit of, oh, it's not going to be that great. But the notes for this, we have some Chantilly cream. We have some chocolate marshmallow. We have, it opens up with bergamot and ginger. And again, the ginger is just blended so well. Does not overtake this fragrance. Um, in the Sweet Tooth re review, I believe I went over a couple of layering combos. I'll go back and check, and if I didn't, I would love to feature this <laughs> in a Layer Your Scent Thursdays. So this fragrance right here, I love to bring out the chocolate in it. It's just what I want to do, and the marshmallow. So I do have here by Day 3 Fragrances. I know I also showed you guys this on the community tab. This is Day 3 Fragrances Chocolate Frosting, you guys. Now, it took me a minute to figure out the consistency. I was like, okay, it's not a body butter lotion like Bath & Body Works. It's not uh, giving me, you know, the Kais Perfumes uh, body butter consistency or even the House of Glory. So what is this? It's in a league of its own. What is this? <laughs> Look, I've already put a major dent in this because I've been playing around with combos, you guys. This will be featured in our Layer Your Sense Thursday video this Thursday. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done choosing the best combos uh, to go over with you guys. But let me tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of this Tahitian Vanilla Melt. Now this one right here, same consistency. You just get a little bit on your, on your fingers and you warm it up on your hands and it kind of turns to oil. That's exactly what we got going on in here. It does have some, I believe, six organic oils, and I'll get into more detail on Thursday's video when we talk about the layering scents, but this is chocolate frosting, and, and it is so, so edible smelling. This is just comes across to you. Uh, that chocolate frosting accord, uh, the perfumer for day three fragrances just to really knock it out of the park with this. <laughs> and let me tell you, here I am in the spirit of giving. And right along with day three fragrances, we are going to be giving away a bottle of, I'll put it up here, La Tacita de Café. So um, also go ahead and tune in. I'll announce how to enter that giveaway on Thursday's video, okay? Not today. For today, we're entering for the Latafa Travel 20 ml sprays, okay? But on Thursday, I will go ahead and let you guys know, you're also going to be winning one of these chocolate frostings. Yes, it's the season of giving, you guys. It's just what it is. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Michael Paul, the perfumer for Day 3 Fragrances, for um, making that available to us. Have I worn chocolate frosting with La Tacita de Café already? Yes. I'll give you all the details on Thursday. Okay, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let's choose our winners while we're talking about giveaways and whatnot. Let's choose our winners already before we move on to number two and number one. Let me see. Where's my lovely assistant? Oh, we're choosing the winners, my lady. Can you see the people? Oh, no. We need a step stool or something. My lady's a little short. She's a little short lady. We should have brought your step stool. There you go. Give a little tippy toe. Give a little tippy toe. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's so super ready. Oh, you can't even see. She's wearing red. She's super festive, just like mom. <laughs> this right here is my prized, uh, you know, nose in the family. She will tell you exactly what she's smelling, and she's pretty spot on most of the time. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and choose two winners for the Mellow Vanilla by Genre Perfumes. Go ahead and pick one. Did you get one? <laughs> Put it up there, Ruby, so we can pick the next one. I'm going to shake them around again. Yay! So today I was telling her we're gonna choose the mellow vanilla winners, and she's like, "Can I choose them?" I'm like, yes, you may. All right. 
two winners. And can you go ahead? Can you go ahead and tell the peoples uh, what you're planning to wear for Christmas? I haven't asked her this yet. What are you planning to wear for the holiday? What do you think? You don't know yet? We're going to talk about that. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. She's a little bit shy. All right, my lady. Oh, she wants to open that. Open that for me, and I will open this one. And the winners are Kelly O'Neill. I believe you were the first one to comment. You were like, yes, my hand is raised. And Danielle Nicole. Congratulations, you guys. You're going to get to try out Mellow Vanilla uh, by Genre Perfumes, the Escapade Gourmand. Say bye. We have two more scents to talk about, and then it's dinner time. <laughs> That's my lady, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we got Kelly O'Neill and Dan Danielle Nicole. Um, send me an email with your contact information so I can get these out to you guys. Oh, my gosh. So exciting. Okay. Let's continue. We just have two more fragrances to go over, um, you know, what for your holiday uh, gatherings. You guys, I didn't mention for Sweet Tooth, I do feel like you could definitely sport that, especially when you layer it and bring out things in the fragrance. I think that you could wear that out of the house to your celebrations and, and you know, and not and just be it'll be enjoyable for you and the peoples around you it really will um i just went to a festivity and somebody was wearing one of my good girl girlfriends was wearing um i believe it was carolina herrera and another one was wearing cloud um just just wonderful anything with a sweet you know flower and a musky base is so nice for your for your gatherings okay so that's what I'm saying. I think Sweet Tooth would really be nice. <laughs> number two. Okay. This was so hard. Number two and number one were so difficult because um, one of them is just, to me, just Christmas. And the other one is just yummy. I mean, wonderful, wonderful, yummy. Just, it makes you want to say, mmm. <laughs> This is Juliet Has a Guns, mm, and it's coming in at number two, but I don't want to just wear it alone. I do want to layer this so that I can get the most out of it. This is a raspberry dream of a fragrance, and so is Genre's Essence. If you watched Genre's uh, Essence review, then you know I just absolutely fell in love with this raspberry. I love both of the raspberry tones in here. Very candle, candy-like. This is like um, a candied cherry vanilla feel with, with that heliotrope that is in there that gives it a vanilla almondy. Um, you know, it also gives it this, um, it's got some iris in there, so a little bit of cosmetic, nostalgic feel. And then in the genre essence, we are just Skittle type candy, um, you know, but that raspberry to me just pops out, just really pops out. And then we have some wonderful, wonderful musky, woody type base in here. The sandalwood is amazing, the amber and the white musk. These blend beautifully together. I'm wearing it right here. Oh, and it's just singing. I mean, singing. When I wore Genre's Essence a couple of times already, I've gotten compliments and I'm not like, I don't normally get compliments. I have gotten compliments. Honestly, I think Genre Essence is just one of those. I've said it before. It just works. It just does. So yes, I would love, this will actually be my scent this year uh, to our outing. I It will be. Julia has a gun mm, with Genre's Essence. Um, I mean, goodness, it's just wonderful fragrances. I do have full dedicated reviews to both of these scents if you want to check those out um but just know that it is sweet raspberry musky wonderful layerable fragrances both of them are and then putting them together ooh, just yummy <laughs> i absolutely adore uh, genre essence and Julia has a gun mm. and Julia has a gun mm, doesn't go the distance on skin as well as genres essence does so combining the two I mean it's, it's just they were made for each other pretty much so that's my number two you guys uh, because 
<sighs> number one, because number one to me is extremely nostalgic and it is extremely, um, you know, that I said it in my Nui Cobalt Designs video for this called Money. This is called Money by Nui Cobalt Designs and I do, I haven't placed my order. I definitely will for my top five from Nui Cobalt. I just been so busy. Oh my gosh, but on the skin, this is just so nostalgic. Reminds me of, this has in it offertory spices and um, sweet cakes served with good ale. Mixing money oh, with tonka bean tea cakes is just perfection, absolute perfection. Um, I did do this one night, I oh, sprayed wrong. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Tonka Bean Tea Cakes by House of Gloy. This is the Eau de Parfum. I do have the hair oil. And I totally missed out on the pumpkin butter, but I'll be on the lookout for when it comes back in stock. This is just fluffy little tea cakes with some almond, uh, delicate sugar glaze. Tonka Bean, I'm sorry. And coated in delicate sugar glaze. I get this interesting almost almond like quality like you know in this fragrance in this in this scent oh it's just so so good tonka bean tea cakes very comforting so this for this scent that's this is the one that i want to wear when i'm just um cozied up in the house during these holidays that is why um it's coming in at number one because i'm all about the comfort <laughs> this holiday season for whatever reason and um and that is it when i tried out money i thought this is christmas this is christmas in a bottle is what it's giving me and um more so because of that cake that that um you have the pan de rosca and all that um you know in in my tra traditions growing up and that is all you guys oh we got through it yay so exciting so exciting absolutely love uh to share with you guys what i feel what match what occasion um you know i, I don't i don't care for rating my fragrances it's really really hard for me because i love them all for different reasons and you know different occasions and they're all they're all here for a reason <laughs> Um, but but yes, it's fun anyways to go ahead and do top fives. I've been having a blast with it. If anybody has any suggestions whatsoever, you definitely let me know. I will get those going for you guys. And um, stay tuned for this Thursday because we are doing that day three fragrances, La Tacita de Café. Um, it's not... It's not this bottle, it's the other bottle, the new format bottle. I have the artwork bottle. Um, the... Um, Dominican artist which is the perfumer's mother actually <laughs> so yeah tune in this Thursday you guys this is a gem of a fragrance as I've said it I don't know how many times this is masterfully blended I mean just what how can something be so true to coffee yet be so bright and enjoyable just so smooth and this is a gem of a fragrance i absolutely adore this and i cannot wait to share it with one of you guys i'm so excited <laughs> so yes tune in on thursday and you'll find out how to enter that giveaway and for today let me know your scent for your festivities it could be something that you've done in the past something nostalgic or something you plan on doing anything will get you entered okay Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, your happy, happy holidays. What's Thursday's date? It's not Christmas yet. That's the weekend. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.